after many months waiting to be called up. From there I went to Flinders Naval Depot where I did my training. And, and the first classes I went to, they were in a special service. Nobody could tell us what it was at that time. And when I was due to go away and pass the, to get the medicals, I had tonsils trouble and I uh, had to be operated on to get the tonsils out. So I missed that going on that draft up that then to to uh, a school where they uh, trained for the landing ships. But uh, I had my tonsils out and there was one old lady who used to come over and visit us and she found out I was a Queenslander only young and she bought me over a piece of pineapple. I didn't know much but I bit into it and then I had an awful trouble with my throat. The nurse that saw me have the pineapple said, good heavens, it should never have had that. So she uh, <laughs> took it off me and tried to soothe it as much as she could. She apparently went up to the line a couple of days later, which was an expression used to say that she went up to Melbourne, the city. And uh, when she saw me the next day after she came back, she said she had a little treat for me. And I still think so wonderful, what a wonderful person she was. She gave me a mashed banana. And I thought, but her being an officer, which the nurses were, and me just being an ordinary seaman just passed out from ordinary seaman two to ordinary seaman one by turning 18. I, I thought she was a marvellous person and often think of her even at this late stage in my life.